أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala May his peace and blessings be filled upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the one who fought tooth and nail <coughs> For Islam to get to every corner of the world. I request Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bestow unto him his full blessings and mercy and whoever is to follow his footsteps till the day of judgment. Allahumma ameen. Elad deva sewa ni manyawa. Long time no see. I remember the last episode we had. If I told you we were alive last time we met. The question we had was, who is right? So before I introduce today's question, I'd, I would like to take you through a, a recap of what we discussed some time back. The first question, or maybe the first episode, was all about love as a foundation. We discussed that. The second episode was all about figuring out eh? who you are yeah and we go to a principle and we are like if you don't have an answer to that question you don't deserve someone's heart and the third episode we dedicated it to another question of saying who is right because everyone is in need of a rightful partner and so on so we we, we discussed who is right and the principle i remember there was Righteousness has nothing to do with religion alone. Just because someone is a practicing Muslim or Muslima, they are fasting Mondays and Thursdays, they are, they are, they are, they are good at saying Salaamu Alaikum with all the huruf, that's not reason enough for them to be righteous. And so here we are today. And I want to dedicate today's session, episode, to another, another contemporary problem, or maybe challenge we have as youths in line with our dating. How do we communicate as we are dating? Mm. How do you talk to your partner? Eh? Do you have some, eh, some lovey-dovey statements you normally use? Or you think Islam doesn't have space for that? Mm? There are very many misconceptions, and at least today, inshallah, we're going to discuss that. I normally like to, to, to approach such ideas in a way before you get to marriage. And if at all you're clever enough as you're listening, or maybe if you're attentive enough, you're to reflect whatever we're discussing today into maybe what will happen as you get married, or maybe in your marriage, just in case you are. Communication in, during khitbah. Just for someone who has joined us today, the Islamic style of dating, I repeat this. If you're ready to say to someone that you love them, it's indirectly a proposal. You want to marry them, period. If a lady is like, I love you back, it's a direct acceptance. They're like, okay. I'm ready, you may marry me. That's a principle. So whatever we're going to discuss today in line with communication, at least that's the preamble now. You have to know that. It's in line with marriage and it's in line with like fixing some of the barriers that might stop people to get to the marriage story. Factor number one. How can we make our communication effective between whoever you claim you love? Just because you love someone, is it reason enough to talk for 10 hours? If you're given a pen and paper to write down after the 10 hours of talking, do you have some points you can list down? What have you been discussing for 10 hours that is in line with what you're building? So that's why we are here today. The effective communication between people who have marriage in their minds between people who are Islamically dating. Factor number one, 
just as in an introduction. Islam provides a direct and indirect way of showing interest to the one you're interested in, irrespective of gender. Equal rights. If a man is interested into a lady, Islam is like this gentleman has a direct approach to get to this lady and to, to confess whatever he's feeling for her. Just like he also has an indirect approach to get to the lady and try to confess the love they have for her. So the same rights a man has, they are the same rights a lady has. Hey, just like you, you, you approach a lady, Islamically, Islam also allows a lady to approach a guy. Yes, maybe you're here and a lady is convinced that you can make a good husband, but you're not saying out anything. But then she's like using the right ways to approach him to you and then to confess the way they, they, the way they view you maybe in their world. So let's take note of that. But the key words here are the direct and indirect. So the direct approach is, that's very normal and very easy. Eh? The direct way is you find someone, you go to them, boldly and you're like sister how are you i'm fine you're looking nice today thank you i i think i think you can be uh, in your directing for example maybe a guy might say maybe like may, like maybe a guy would be like hmm? Sister, eh? uh, you're resembling someone mm, that, he, that, that can make a perfect wife as far as I'm concerned. What do you think? Eh? So the sister also says something. Eh? That's the direct way. Straight to the point. I want to marry you. Eh? I want to make a family with you. That's the direct approach. It's okay if you're part of that. But it's only for the, for the brave. Eh? Because when someone is, is experienced, maybe they, 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 they normalize it. It's very easy for someone to go to, a, to many girls and they're like, the same story. How are you? I feel like I love you. How are you? I feel like, like I love you. So it loses meaning. But you need to be brave to go in for the direct one. And there are very many companions that, are, that were in line with that. Direct. How are you? You, 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 the features you're having, you're just fit to be my wife. Can you marry me over and twali zemuni? So the lady was like, twali zemuni over, come in and marry me. That's the direct approach. The indirect approach, just like the word, is, the word itself, indirect approach. So this is an approach that is indirect, obviously. And you know the love story of Ali, Bun Abi Thali when he was trying to date, hmm, communicate effectively with Fatima, <laughs> when Fatima was now a teenager, hmm, the more Fatima used to grow old, the more beautiful she became. So many companions used to take the, 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 the applications to the Prophet. They're like, Ya Rasulullah, we want to marry your daughter. Of course, anyone would like to be a son to the Prophet, to marry a daughter of the Prophet. But you know what the prophet used to do? He used to reject the applications. Not once, not twice. Reason being, Fatima was just part of the prophet. And prophet was just too keen and smart to consider who is going to give a hand in marriage to her, to her daughter. So he used to reject. So one day Ali, as he was with other companions, they started encouraging Ali. They were like, yeah, Ali, for us we have tried and has failed. What are you not seeing at the prophet's house? Fatima is there. Give it a try. The narration states that they encouraged Ali and Ali and then he was like, let me go and now tell Fatima that I want to marry her. Let me go and tell the father, the prophet that I want to marry your daughter Fatima. He matched straight to the prophet. 
prophet narrates that the way Ali entered the house, it was an aimful way. It's like he had something hot to, to say out. But as soon as he entered the house, as silent as Ali, he never said anything. And then the prophet was like, yeah, Ali, what's wrong with you? I've just tried to assess the way you've, you've entered. And it's like you're having some news to tell me. You're having something to, you, request, you want to request from me. Why are you silent? Ali was just silent. The first time he was asked, silent. Second, silent. The third time, silent. Not until the prophet was like, Ka'annaka, Ali. What I'm trying to read is, perhaps you, need, you, you want to marry my daughter, Fatima. Immediately as the prophet says that, Ali was like, exactly. That's the reason why I'm here. Is that a direct or indirect approach? Of course it's an indirect one. Yeah. Those men who are not having some nice lines, maybe they are not, they are not, they are not good at watching movies, they are not good, they are not too vulgar, if I'm to say. And you're like, how, how are you going to do that? Come on, Ali is there. And Ali, immediately, Fatima was also interested. And of course, marriage happened. So that's an indirect approach. It's a very authentic example an indirect approach, and it actually works, yeah? It also happens with the Prophet. Don't you know the story of Khadija bin Khuwaylid with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Some of us normally turn out disrespecting Khadija and they're like, Omcharo, you can go and swing. Ye kwanira ti omusajja. Isn't it? No, no, no. It was an indirect approach. Because Khadija, as he, as he was there, they tried to discuss about the prophet with her friends and then my sarah a friend now to khadija khadija was like but my sarah you normally discuss and have conversations with the prophet once in a while mention my name as you're discussing talk about me when you're with the prophet yeah just indirectly hmm? and my sarah was like okay it's okay deal i'm going to talk about you indirectly of course so when the Maisara went to the Prophet, how are you and everything, blah, 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 blah. And then he was like, but you're now 25, you're getting to 26. Why don't you get someone to marry? Then the Prophet was like, ha, ah, that's another task now. But who am I going to marry, as you see around here? Who deserves me? Then Maisara was like, I'm not dictating, but I think Khadija is just nice for you. I don't know what you think, but just... Think about it. But of course, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was also interested hmm, in Khadija bin Tukhwailid. And that's what happened. When Maisara mentioned the Prophet, like Khadija, in front of the Prophet, Prophet was like, okay, of course, let's make it happen. And then the parents now met and then ah, marriage went, or like, went in place. That's those are the results of the indirect approach. The world is driving us at a high speed. We are now trying to disrespect people who are sticking on these valuable values. Hmm? Please, ladies, there are gentlemen who are not bold enough to tell you that sister, come here, you are beautiful, I want to marry you. 90% of them, if at all they are religious and they are shy, they might not take the direct approach. Yeah? And Islam has that. Yeah? There is the direct and indirect approach. Please, you consider that. Eh? Secondly, the Islamic communication style is independently encouraged, free from blindly being affected by emotions. As you communicate with your partner, it has nothing to do with your emotions. And this is where we lose it from. Eh? Just because someone has confessed that they love you, and maybe you love them back, they're now, you're off the hook because of them, eh? it's okay. 
you turn out to let your emotions dictate the way you're going to communicate. Come on, if you were there in our first episode, we were like, you have a task of analyzing whatever you're feeling for your partner, love as a foundation. If at all you skip that stage, that means the emotions you're having, most especially for the ladies, the emotions you're, going to, you're having, they're going to dictate the way you're going to speak to your partner. I think it's making sense because you normally feel like you want to speak to them in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, even at night, the following day, you need to spend the whole day with them. Yeah, those are emotions. Come on. No one is going to get to marriage and you need to spend the whole time discussing and talking like that. So the Islamic stand is you have to be courageous enough to realize that the emotions are there. I'm interested in this someone. I love them. I love them. I truly love them. But let my communication be controlled too. And that's why you don't even speak vulgar with whoever you're dating. You don't disrespect yourself with whoever you're dating. You don't speak bad words with whoever you're dating. Because you have a chance. So if you try out with something like three girls, you're openly discussing to them. How I wish, just imagine, we, I'm there. Just imagine we are doing this. Now you're in on the second one. The third one. <laughs> and these ladies now, they are there. But the first one, they are Ghana. You get the gamba ganene at night. 12 a.m. or ya o tandobozi. And the second one too, the third one too, the fourth one too. Mochi susamu, no walk turn on gawari. And then we are like, come on. You be, you're letting your emotions control you. You're having brains. And the Islam is like, no, no, no. You have to be in control of your emotions. Even when you're communicating with whoever you feel you love. And that's why, even when you're dating, I, 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 want, I want to emphasize this. When you're dating, that's when the emotions are just very too high. And that's why some of the married people always tend to say, that as they are dating, they feel loved. But after marriage, they don't feel loved. Isn't it? Reason being, people are falling victims. As they are dating, they are, all, they are just like dancing to the tunes of their emotions. That's what they are supposed to do anyway. After marriage, you now switch to maturity. The emotions are no longer like they used to be. And that's a fact. It won't stay the same. Because you're married now. After marriage, you need to think of some other stuff. You won't be calling your partner, your spouse, just like you used to call them as you're dating. So Islam is like, before you get to that drama of being like controlled with your emotions, please consider that even when you're speaking, communicating to your partner. Thirdly, as you communicate, always remember that you are still strangers. Not until they put a ring on your finger. And not until they accept you. In her, maybe at their home. As you're communicating, people are being disrespected one one one. Just because they don't limit what they are saying out. Muto ya child is stranger. Of course, if you're dating Islamically, we don't expect you to hug, we don't expect you to kiss, we don't expect you to cuddle, we don't expect you to blah, 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 blah. So, of course, even the conversations eh, that, that are in line with whatever you're not supposed to do, you try to limit them because they are going to drive you to that blah. So, Islamically, it's like you are strangers. Even when this guy is just too wide, these whole lines are there. Just, they are just fitting at the same right period of time. Please, they are still strangers. Always have that possibility. It means, but it might not work out. And you don't want to stay with that damage psychologically. And you want now respect from someone who you have already eh, openly communicated with. Why do you even start now talking about your properties during this in the second day after you confessing the love to the guy? I love you today. 
this following day you're coming with the land titles showing the girl the land titles you know my you, I, now I, you just my wife material it's okay you now you see the these wife these land titles you have to be in control when you're communicating you are still strangers not until nika is done and then they are part of your life you basically discuss what they are, what they are supposed to know, what they need to know. Anything that is besides that, please remember that you are still strangers. Hmm. Islam encourages the couple limitedly consider their phrasing that express their feelings not to exceed the Sharia boundaries. Yes. When you're trying to, na yao mamba bileko obusira wumu na ingeli jibula ini obumu obuli mbosira wumu. No. Because I was wumu na watu lideko shio. Eh? Islam, even when you're going to compliment your wife, or maybe you're going to compliment your potential husband, eh? You make sure, chona 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 wana, it's in the boundaries of Islamic law. Eh? So, of course, they are giving you a leeway a window and you're like, you can give a compliment to your potential wife and potential husband. You don't demand for the compliment. You just be there. and So, if someone is not complimenting you, maybe you don't deserve it. That's it. So, Islam is like, no, no, you, you don't have to exceed the boundaries, Islamic law boundaries. One day, Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his wife Aisha asked him that, oh, my husband, Rasulullah, how is your love? Like, how is my love within you? Hmm? How much do you love me? Nambako, eh? how much do you love me? Qala nabiyu li Aisha, radiyallahu anha, hubbi laki ka'uqdati habli. Prophet was like, my love for you, Aisha, is just like a knot in a rope. Like it's fundi kwa. No kwata echi omugua and you're like you tighten it. You chose a church, but it's a bottom zoom. No, it's a chicken to change a bit. Church. Kati prophet was like, My wife, the love I have for you is just like that knot. Eh? Just like you see a knot on a rope. And then Aisha was perplexed now, confused. What is the relationship between this rope and love? And then Prophet was like, come on, don't lose it. The energy you need to ease the knot on the rope, that's the energy. Anyone that wants to draw my love off you, the energy they, use, they have to apply. How sweet is that? Ningamunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunimunim
Just mulu kukao ba. Chicha alinga wechili. And then the prophet is like, ah, ah, ah. Here kama here. Chicha alinga wechili. Tichina na kusekola ji. Na kusenguka. Those are love like. Ola bila delango mkwano weguli. Tawe mude. So now what makes you think that for someone to show that they love you. They have to be too vulgar. Mwana gwe nkwa gala. I want to be too vulgar mwana anso ni. Wanaina mwumani cheche njoke lako. Someone is a guy and they are talking to you. So, Muslima, you're convinced. Nti haina kuwe mula mwao. Echiro. O matitenti o mwano na ino mwano. The same applies with the girl now. Haina kuwe mula mwao. Ayo gire mwao wakaka mwako utategiru mwuse kategeza achi. Nti kategeza A, B, C, D when we are there. O matitenti o mwano na ino mwano. No, 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 no. Islam is like Neda. Oyambaza, yambaza ako. Even when you're already married, there is no space for using vulgar language. Obama can do. Okuwe mula. It's not a place before and even after marriage. Nina unga uwa weta aga duwa. Gagum kwa nungu gula gira mkuwe mula. You have to at least be creative enough. Okumango sungulu kuyi ya kubi itu unga wino. Okumango nabi watu nungu ya yi ya. Nawe hii ya yumu, ambo yumu. Osoguro kumango kwa koze saa. Saba Allah bilinga atuwa integele yu. I wanted to give those points as an introduction. Before we start breaking down. The reason as to why I'm here. Personally, I believe. Just because many of us don't know how we can effectively communicate with our partners. As we are dating. Having marriage as a goal. It's a reason for us ending whatever we are in. Or maybe we are losing track to find better spouses, better partners, just because of our bad, effective communication. Point number one, time for communication. As you are dating with your fellow, with your potential wife, with your potential husband, the effective communication I'm trying to refer to is are you intervening in other schedules as you're speaking to them or not? You are the job. You, ha you have a job, for example. You want to hide with the phone. You know very well. When you are to work, you don't speak on phone. And now, just because you're a fresher in love, you start... You're just at the office. How are you? Are you fine? I'm fine, sweetheart. Relax. You relax for 10 minutes. You text again and you call again. Not until you lose the job. So Islam is here to guide you. If you're in control and whoever you, you claim you love, please manage the time you communicate to them. And I think it's a factor with the ladies. Eh? They normally say, you don't give them time, probably. Maybe at times. And the reason is she knows you're working. You're not an angel. She knows you're a teacher. You know what they need? You have to see them sleep late at night. You have to see them sleep late at night. And in the morning, you have to wake up. And she also needs three hours to talk. Eh? So I want you to imagine that couple eh? with all that arrogance who might be being ignorant. And they are like, okay, this guy doesn't love me because how dare you spend uh, like five hours without checking on me. The, they, they don't love me. Let me check for someone else. Just because he's fixed and Islam is like, please understand that. Don't be too shallow not to understand that. The same applies with the girl. Omwana wabendi akwala mu state house. Ubaba yingira, simanyi wa nai jasi njokela kuhogezi temu nsiba. Ubaba yingira, bai nzo mbaba kwa nganta, masimu kumakali. Fasijuri papa sasa, masimu mkakwale ki. Mugaleka. Nunyi gao. Omwana umachira vika takuwa gala. Uruku kumu kubila lido, takwata. Nuku yako li, takwata. Nenge ya kugambi yeti, my boss doesn't want me always on. Bansa zene milioni ya ngemu. Ulokuwa dini yoku simu. Nina uwaji totengira. So Islam is like time for communication is vital. 
effective communication, I have to make it. Because com if, what effective communication is, you speak, and whoever is at the receiving end, they are ready to receive and comprehend what you're saying. I think the point is clear now. You don't let whatever you're having now to intervene. Your vital schedules, what you know yet are. So it's as easy as discussing with your partner as you're trying to build marriage. One year, two years down the road, communication is still a problem. The second factor is the duration on the phone. <laughs> the duration is obviously dictated if the above mentioned factors are considered. Mumbo's you with whoever you claim, your potential wife and your potential husband. The conversation you normally have, eh? just remove the biology bit. May you take the biology bit? Remove the vulgarness, eh? Musigazeo was serious. In line with what they are supposed to know about you. Eh? How, how are you going to talk for 10 hours? Eh? Yes, we are not backbiting. How are you going to talk for, for three hours? Talking what? When you're just off the phone, we give you a pen and paper. You're like you're at university. Our assumption is when you're here, your reasoning capacity is also different. Please list down some three factors you've, you've discussed in line with your marriage. How dare you speak for 10 hours on a daily basis for a month? Even the guy doesn't know what he's supposed to take at your home as they are marrying you. You're speaking for 10 hours. What are you speaking? You're speaking for 10 hours on a daily basis. The guy that claims they want to marry you has never, never asked anything that is in line with the prerequisites in, that are, are in line with marrying you. Tamanye wame bawa sabatia. Nenga munyu mia 10 hours a day. Tamanye wame. Tata wo yetaka kuwa tatia. Munyu mia 10 hours a day. And now after, after a year, after two years, muse things a day, that's when you're now starting to discuss. Nanobu de tebuli yi wo, anunya sende za kuwasa. Come on. Islam is like, no, 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 no. Even when you're there, just dating, please, the communication has to be effective. And you like, I need to marry you. I love you. The content discussed is also vital. Hmm? For example, when you're discussing with someone you love and you expect to marry them, even the content you're going to discuss is obviously, is obviously considered. Recently, you have to learn someone, you have to know uh, their personality, blah, blah, blah. How do they get mad? Blah, blah, blah. That story. When the communication is effective, you don't need a lot. You just need to hear a statement from what you call a potential husband or maybe from what you call a potential wife and you get to know that I'm dealing with a witch doctor from one statement. Just an example. The reasoning capacity. <laughs> As you're discussing with your so-called potential wife to be, or maybe your potential husband. But again, but again. When did you dedicate a phone call you're giving them just to check their reasoning capacity? Have you puzzled them at times or are they? How are they going to fix this? Kuvori wano, you a lady at campus, you're going to get out with the first class, you don't know how it hurts. Kuvera wansi wa musajja, ngane one plus one times two plus one divided by three, chimuchamba. 
nange ndo chinchangi demu za chogete na yesebo people don't consider that and it's a factor now we can nyini a husband kawasa you don't want to get human copies from a lady who is not clever she's going to spend most of the time with your kids so islam is just too real to that extent as you're discussing with them you have to have that as a goal omuto no kwenyumya na yono bwayogera bwacha magezi ngaka linga magabula ese namachikule chifuna ofuna wo muteka if you're not ready to welcome their level of understanding it is okay to wait again but geza choose a channel as simple as that do you know how we are fixing some drama here is it happening in bufumba bwa bantu kati maybe when you here and you married yetabu kati joliko yetabu joliko kagambo katono one one simple statement bao na kafuna kulala nyo nti omumanyide nenga na wati oli kuchilala nyo sichi wategeza nenga mwali muongere dachika nkaga ni swala ni bakima nuga kamalo kusala nkomewo pamwe dachika musambu <laughs> and then you pray not that you you resume ni muongere bangi lyo yonna and what are you discussing if you're not discussing this so islam is like ned davambi if you plan to date islamically you have to consider that too omuntu mutuze toweta kana mtu za anti kugeza so tegero tia a a weta gabugu za mbozi za bulijo ni munyumu ya nyumu ya mwano ogeno tegera the reasoning capacity as you effectively discussing with them you to realize their social being socially how are they if you're dealing with a guy ngati mubi bibili akoli mabaganda be akoli mabaganda be akoli mabaganda be that's the sign and you're busy saying ah actually they are not cursing me it's fine for me he loves me he loves you if he's cursing baganda be sisters be as you're discussing as you're talking for 10 hours chiche chikumatiza nyabo kujja konga mukwano bwe gukubotikide nti rumu tajja kukasinga so islam is like even the social being you're moving with someone the so called potential husband islamically of course with the third party included ni musanga ntwashukira kuwa nino ni musanga ni musanga akana akasaba a beggar on the street and all you're reading from their behavior is immorality is dis- being disrespectful to them and you claim you have a husband ya gendo kuwa sa ne date mwajibu kinze what red flag are you waiting for if that is there So Islam is like even when you're effectively communicating with someone this should be the goals check their reasoning capacity but again but but again because we have that as a principle in Islam when someone is silent they are respected it's after they speak that you realize in that again true or false sebo kati naba 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 tategera ndo kati bakaize ndi wabanga omulumba ganyi no mukole echi chamu Oro kuba chimanyi nti bo siri ko ba mugezi nga siri kawo <laughs> True or false Silent achimanyi nti wamu oba wo siri ko ba mugezi Why don't you use that You're spending a year and two years with someone we yakala kunga manti tosobala na na kumwa assessinga how they reason entegera yabwe elietia you can't even assess any factor in their social being and you claim you're dating effectively otuswaza bo litomera Goli manya choli tugamba The other aspect how their time is spent is vital As you're discussing with someone Now you're you're with a lady you're looking for a wife This lady now you're like kubanga it's also it's also lovely for for a guy to ask a girl and you're like sweetheart take me through your day please how did you spend your day eh Now you start hearing this girl. Sweetheart, I woke up in the morning. Mm. Mm-hmm. I prayed fajri, alhamdulillah, mashaallah. <laughs> And after fajri, I went to, to for ice cream with my friends for some three hours. Morning <laughs> for some three hours. After ice cream, I realized there is my friend I have I, I had like taken long without seeing. So I was like I need to pay a visit, not in the program. I need to pay a visit. to her then they go to their friend 
as they are coming back from their friend. They meet another friend, OG, from some school now, and this OG gives a deed. Hey, where are you going? And man, I don't have a plan. I'm just going back to the hostel. Oh, come on. We're having a party, birthday party, and shower. Join us. Sweetheart, I went because I wanted to go and see the, 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 the shower. Sweetheart, you're also waiting for a kutuba, for someone to tell you that you have a lot to do <laughs> on this lady. Someone who you think is going to be a wife material. And that's the discussion. Nkede, kunyo ice cream, jidaboti, every weekend I'm, I go I, and put on a bikini. Eh? You know, don't judge me because I put on a bikini when I'm on the swimming pool. And it's, of course, I know it's bad, but I'm changing I'm slowly, slowly. Inshallah, I will, I will change. And you're discussing. It's ringing a bell. So Islam is like, all you're supposed to focus on is trying to find all these factors that may turn out making your marriage hell. If at all you call them off as you're dating. You know what Jabir did? Radiallahu anhu, when he was going to get to, to, to marry, he married an old lady. And when he went to the prophet, prophet was like, oh, you're already married? Yes. Jabir was like, yes, I'm married. So the prophet was like, did you marry a virgin or you married an old lady? Jabir was like, I married an old lady. So prophet was like, why? I wish, how I wish you considered marrying a virgin. Jabir was bold enough to say to the Prophet, and he was like, Ya Rasulullah, my parents, father and mother, are no more, and I'm having many of my siblings. I can't take myself to a, a virgin, a young girl, because I know, he na maybe she, she knows nothing in line with nurturing and bringing up these young brothers and sisters of, of mine. So I considered finding this old lady. We had a discussion. I knew she's a mother type. She had already given birth. And if I make her my wife, she's going to help me nurture and bring up my siblings. Prophet was like, that's a nice deal. Come on, go on. Yeah, that's how light of the effective communication is. Name we want. One year, two years, two, three years. Eh? And then you, you, you've never even discussed how is your nika going to be? How do you need it? What, what are the requirements eh, for this man now to start in the first year to, to, to make, do, make some savings in order to marry you? Now in the third year, they have to write a full list of everything, even your gomesi and your, 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 your suitcase that is going to have your, your, your clothes and so on. Please help me because I'm going to marry. But you've been with this guy five years and they are working. Hmm? And there is the traditional inclination. As you're trying to talk, effectively communicate with your partner, try at times to read those traditional inclinations. Mm. Ask them once in a while. Tell them that my wife, I, I want you, like after you're done giving birth, I feel like you should give our son or maybe daughter that chogero to drink after bathing him or her. And then if this girl is like, oh, actually, my grandmother told me that I should give him a chogero. After, actually, I can also give you that same chogero for you to love this this son and daughter of yours a lot. Ngomanya. Ntikati akosechi. Ati unize. So you don't have to kulangira them. You're like, oh, thank you very much. Wabarakallahu fiku. Because you've, you've noticed that. The same applies with you. Si mwabasu miye kukati. Do you want a traditional guy? Again, ukusa vule migo. Kumachao. Ni mutu nduwa. No regulo. Eh? Of course, it's not Islamic. And you're busy with the guy now discussing. Eh? You're there and they're like, I, I, I won't even go where I'm going. How dare this mosquito bites me? Oh, what the Muslim? 
you're dealing with a psycho now naisebo ni we gumia ndio like oh 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 i love i come on baba naika tensele mono me dechi lwali kuba lwali tegeranti that was a sign and i'm talking of the effective communication you with the girl here you're dating of course when you're dating you're looking for a wife material no giza ko mugamba ntina yenze ndaba nga munda be yanga tewandi omchati yandi lunde nyogwe ne baba ba kumulimu at least it's our satu abelenga akozechi kuma mbani era yikidde and then this girl is like ha nkolabo jirira i know where you're heading now you want to stop me to work my friend you want manage me because me when i'm at work you won't tell me to come back when i have a big log much load at work to consider atenzile kugwa wasa wesatu sisobodde and then the following day no funa na manya anga mupira how are you sweet heart olumara ngo fumbo buganye you look for shakes now and you're like my wife is not understanding where were you to read that as you dating them that's when you're going to consider that no mla bila wonti wa mtu munene and you like tujja kumalako paka wali funo bodi ya wa mtu munene munene okufumo kokolechi mutambule and that's how effective communication works you have to use the effective communication to learn the psychology of your partner a guy who is rich a guy who is having a lot on their table big fish to deal with will not give you the same time like a guy who doesn't is it too hard to understand that when you're at campus all you have is coursework all you have is lectures all you have is that business is it too hard for you to understand that after campus you both have to now get established if someone is like please Yes I know I used to call you in the morning and evening even late night I used to call you but I can't tell you all if I give you a call today in the morning please understand that's the effective communication and if at all they are not ready then maybe you're not with a partner cuz like it or not everyone individually they have their own schedules and that's when you get to consolations like uh, as motivation speakers they what call justice if someone loves you they will definitely fix time for you now when i'm here and i'm teaching you and my wife calls now mukwate mugambe sweet heart nsonyi wa mundi wa nemakerebe mujeko i only have to inform her and i'm like sweet heart i'm teaching for an hour or maybe two hours so please don't call me during that time period na chitegera no ngasigenda kwe uzako ndi banayo nansonywa mbadde ndiye yo ngani mukusonywa kale babuziza ne ibuzo binji na yo kale unansonyira yo eh tukale kake kake yonge demo yo stress imba mu maze nise wali bose makali wano arudde mu pepa aina munne wano pepe mutute 3 hours just because they told you that ah uh, pepe no nyango i'm going to do it two and a half hours and i'm going to call you after two and a half hours so you need him to also explain rachel would be much more paper era mu muri muzanyo mwe maybe these series are going to help us buli omate gira na ali mukatemba na na ali bintu ebya mazima kati if someone is a vice chancellor just for example a rector you really think the time they have is the time of omuntu wabuli jwa avuga boda is that too hard to understand if your wife is a doctor sajun amadwa ira asatu beka kasaiye wabatali wabantu wachili bafe is it too hard to understand nti wababa mukubide simu ekiro gwenga bawe yemu wasango chimanyi nti doctor tichina na kunyiza mufuge mvuzo mfare kudwa lino abaga abantu omaru muze waka period now how do you even skip that as you're dating you're busy asking what course are you doing i'm doing medicine what course are you doing i'm doing education wali musomesa ye musawo you're going for a trip now with your students eh 
na yara alikuwa tukubira kirebe bawa ni tampa budde bageze mfirudu waka amaze na kusatu nchimanyi aina wa chala bagenzo kulaba yo <laughs> you're not learning the psychology of your partner because everyone like it everyone everyone individually by name zibu byabo and they have their own schedules yeso ngo lwachi ni lecture ngino tugamba anti a a echinene nyo kasawa ya kufika mu tuve wana tugende kubanga abantu bayine byokola chi ebyokola but it's not too hard to understand so allah bilinga atwa integere yo obude bwo twaiza baswa ya mashina try your best to keep effective communication between yourselves in play please kale ubanga ebya mayaga byo nobye era bidde kantukera bila don't be a reason don't be a barrier for the effective communication not to be normal between you and your partner a simple example a valid one Whoever invented the phone tumubanja agende buli wantu ne course yokuzisa amasimu what did you say one here what does a mist call me please what does a mist call me if you miss a call what does it mean eh Kalia, ha, that the speed. To the caller and to the receiver. What does the missed call mean? Mm. To the receiver I'm busy. Mm. No, no, no. I'm busy there is an option of the red button. Busy. Ni mukate no katia. Wachi yojeka ni evuga. Kuba wona nyiga busy. Eh, eh, ulutalo lulala. How dare you make me busy? Nengo li busy woli. Eh? Now my point here is eh, please don't be a barrier ever in your effective communication with your partner if you a wife do you really need to call 10 times 10 times ngo kubira the, the so called potential husband of yours again okuwasa and after him calling you back 10 times remember and he's like please I found 10 missed calls. Is there is is everything okay? And you're like yes, I just wanted to check on you 10 times. <laughs> the next day when you're going to be in an emergency, the 10 missed calls will not be a deal to him. Because he will be like on wa buli jo, mirundu je atandikira mu 10 kugenda wa, kumbo limu kwefira. So the effective communication is please even when you're using the phone. Siku bachala boka. Even you the guy you calling 10 times to ina gulika tell him what day 10 times atashinga no no kuncha nganzo omutwe 10 times in 2 minutes nakubambwati najjako nakubambwati ngalinga gama ntikale azisange kuunga nyinji chimugwemu kati nyabo eh era mutusasira nganyu fa abera mu issues abantu abafuna abantu bayina ga issues gabe mu communication and it is built over time toja kumunenya everyone unkakasa in your phone you have people you prioritize if you only find one missed call of them you know there is sense and you will immediately call them back true or false and wallahi lazim you have that one number nani wako be mirunda abili ngo inacho oliko you like can't malize i will get back to them true or false you don't want your wife to be in those people you don't want your husband to consider you like that and you don't want your wife to consider you amongst those people abakubesimu nga akimanyi bumanya obugena mumalira budde and that's why i was like communication effectively has nothing to do with emotions okube nyama simu tichile example onjagala nyu afro no muntu afira sobolo chikola but if you handle that wrongly o yagala to yagala Ojja kutuka akasena nga yo kid is sick chibwa tukira bawa ya ine motoka taliwo ne oloko amanyiza misikolo za abili yaje gamata ah kano ka sweet hanka enkali mukungu bila misikolo za abili kanja kunga manti kanja gala kwa gazi nja kadira kumbo fa but if you train someone that you call once that's the discipline 
na responsible wasanko missed call adamu na kukubira obadde ogamba chi that's it and that's the effective communication i believe that's the only reason as to why the, the communication isn't effective nadala kubya masimu pakanya kuza masimu gatamaka masimu gatamaka yes that's how gatamaka like that chizibu nyo kusango musa batono nyo atina ndi batono abanaye batono nyo bosanga nga prioritizing nga bwala be simu ya muchala be bwati miss calls is sat amanya something is wrong tasobola kunkubira miundu jine sat nga sikwata okujja nga wali weish ni wabira mu meeting aji fuluma ko za chimanyi something is wrong na kuba na dilinga nawo musajja watu ali mukye yali nga meeting my workers salary tabiwo bulinga mu nsuseko 10 miss calls zivu gawo Maybe, excuse me a little bit. I, I just wanted to, to check on you. I love you so much. Tell me the calls. CCB, or to see message you love him. Trust me the following day. The other day, I jacked him and young auntie watch your body. Call once. Obango Yagala Muga Mountain Magala, send a message. To where are you? Kiga and the Kuga Mountain Kuagala. Chigwe, or take a once. Ni mumaze mwe simu mugaso. Oba oba nima. That is it. Just imagine everyone. Ni mudeti one for example. Olaba masimu weta genda bawo la mase. Eh? Hmm? Sababu abelenga atwa entegere. If your if you, if your if your father calls you, if you find a missed call of your father, what happens? Eh? Oyagana kweto nda. Tata so nyo so nyi. Bade wanunga binko tem ebade mu silent ni wo wo doji kulira ne ne baba wa ne wo bazanyira ko kubanga mama mchala watu yali emotional eh wako ba ulide yama sasi mu chibuga be like tawani wange na kubire soka eyo kubire eyo kusatu eyo kuna omuntu ali responsible na otegira kati mama akubye au ni sasi mu chibuga mukwa to ngambe ndi fight we dali kila please i want to wind to this session that tuna gena bibuzo Effective communication has nothing to do with your emotions. Just because you text a lot your partner doesn't mean your marriage will work out. And just because you don't talk a lot on phone doesn't mean temujja ku working out. For your information, your grandmother and your forefathers tebali na ka WhatsApp wako. Bali bantu ba kagere. Ngabata ambula. Ngachi manyi ngenda kulaba mtu wake. But they understood the effective communication. They want to bridge mutu china, email, WhatsApp, but we move easily. They want no more kubira kud number yinin, phone call, ten missed calls, on WhatsApp, ten missed calls, voice notes, please, 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 please. Why not picking? Now, we email no me emailinga. I know something is wrong. Why don't you pick me? Twenty missed calls. Something is. Please forgive me. Just in ten minutes. Ngaye to nzeda. Wawa bali ubuzimu nsoniwa. Ngakati gwa yita moro. Nuka what's the problem? Kati wimbo ino muko bila omugamen please ona nsonywa just bade muko bize. Please. Obango oli wana tristinga tugenda fenna mu series zineza marriage. Katemba we simu tumale wano valero. And today's episode has been on effective communication. How do you communicate with your partner? Akasembye ya ukabadde kakulu. Please. Sina kuba baba mwe boka even to your friends you don't want to be a friend go back over the last moment in government very busy okukwanya kubira banunga go chibai to kubira ku mutungo ina chama gezi cyo mugamba kandi niwe nabera mu mitawana they want to prioritize you osaka buri muntu akaka nkaka sant everyone kusimu yo you have someone you prioritizing and you want kubira sawa zino oti ni obonye medwa nyuwa bo furuma wa mugamba ogamba ote wa mwa wali we stambula ngira wo mulina ngani wakubira kati wano ojireka mpaka wova wanene ahi no tamkubira we immediately no mujukira ruva nyuma nyo so at least let's try to utilize the functions of the phone to manye mystical chitegeza chi wizibera nyinji umuntu amanye ntasubira yo kubika eh umuntu amanye nti umuntu wakufula busy that's not that's not a problem banange it's not a problem muno mumanyeze nti a a bonko biranga ne kufula bize option yeyo kubiri sendi kama kama message ya eh sendi kama kama message tebako bila ngoku simu ngoli muswala ngeli mu loud 
no pipira pipira no jitugwa kumbo food the business olulutalo kati oyino kunyonyola munno how dare you make me busy kugamba techimuruma kubanga tumukute naye chimuruma kubanga mu food the business because they think katto cha bagala tusaba Allah buli abakola amasimu bano batani ko tusomesa engeje tukakosa jitunga koze sana i believe if the communication is effective respectful buli muntu agenda funa partner we amugwana buli muntu agenda funa muntu amugwana because mukogera kuno kuka you going to realize how sweet someone uh, someone is how how nice they are and so on and so forth and it's in the effective communication that you realize ti abantu bano babinyo oba bachiamu oba bekaza oba 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 ati by the end it's my what kogeddeko communication e no kubera mu boundaries zo usiram between a guy and a girl even when you're not dating we know you know we want to be in the one who doesn't have single bonds. Now I say come alone, just go in our The same applies with the girl. Eh? Man, I want to know. I need to know No, Nachibika. Nuga watati wo chibiso abisenga gentleman. Bami wera nga boti. Omanya ntu kula chi owaba. So it has to be limited. Eh? It has to be limited. Kubanga yagala gana. Whenever you stand with that lady. Ngo yagade mboze wabe. E yangwa. Ya wabye nda. Yeta kaja sika smile away katibwe o sumulula. Atewe chi muganga na ye ya yono neka. E e. Nga muta alikida avu. Ya ngo se se, se se nchi wa mama, o se se bulu njia na bwo, katowo wewe utiango se keri, wemu chwe muta ndika, pola pola bwo, yompaka, gamu na mukwe demu nza, sababu la mirenga tuwe tugele, wa mama. To what extent should we be patient with their imperfections, like being a traditionalist for time we start? Because I think they need a chance to change with time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need a chance to change with time, but we are not here to, to, to train you how to give them a chance to change in time. You give them a chance on your own. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. This is the last one. But if someone is, whatever we, we mention here, is in line with guiding you. Eh? So if someone is doing whatever you are discussing here, and you're like, no, 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 they will change. Let me give them a chance. It is okay. You give them a chance. It's fine. We are not stopping you from giving them a chance because people change from day to day. Yeah, but it's better to get factors to stick on before marriage than you get consolation fields that are going to take you within marriage with the faults you already knew. Yeah? So that's why we normally have this series. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to the best. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide whoever is single here to target the rightful partner. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, enable us to practice effective communication with our partners. Eh? Yeah, Chikwa Sensoni, to spend two years, three years in book, your date in book, your dating. Nenga temunyo miyanga ko, ewale wa galachi, binata ambula bichia. Gua mahari kuga dia meka ngatana di keko kati ugas sonda. Poli nzi wali kumwa kubuyo kusemba ngoge na kuasa. Oso ko yuwa o programu ngatoi na mu nechi nechi kumi boya gana na kuasa. Kato dating ano o dating gachi. Eh? May Allah subhanahu wa taala grant us that understanding. Allahumma amin. Rabbana ajna fi dunya hasan wa fi alakhirat hasan wa fi nara dunar. Rabbana zidna ilma wa rizqna fahma. Thank you. Thank you for coming in large numbers today. Until we meet again on Monday. Bend on Monday, but so one of the two. You are probably never more faces, Kali and Pia. Munimawa, 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 Pia, and always. Eh? Saba Allah, Pia, Abazewano, Muberenga, Namute, Baba, and Tobatu to Mutomera, Muzukana, Baka, Baba, who's it? Baba, who's it? You are discussing. Obarka, love people.